This is a common question I receive because it's usually from the U.S. citizen spouse who's calling who wants to sponsor their immigrant spouse now for a green card. When you get fingerprinted at the border, there is usually a record of your attempted illegal entry. You can get into trouble if you don't determine whether or not when you were fingerprinted you were given a removal order, and it's not always clear. Sometimes they give you paperwork, sometimes they just fingerprint you and let you go. So it's best to do a Freedom of Information Act request, if you can, with Customs and Border Protection, always to get a full copy of your file. If you have the copies already, it's very advisable for you to bring those to an attorney so the immigration attorney can review it to make sure that you don't have a removal order. Because re illegal reentry following a removal order can bar you even from getting sponsored from your U.S. citizen spouse. Using a fake name is, is not going to protect you. They run it based on your fingerprints, so any aliases will also show up on your fingerprint analysis. So it's always advisable, besides the CBP FOIA, to try to get the FBI to do a background check, which you can do through the mail, and it's pretty fast. You can find out what they have on you. I am an expert in complex family-based immigration cases and have a 98% approval rate for the past 12 years. I am a nationally published immigration author and frequent public speaker on immigration topics. I regularly train other immigration lawyers on complicated marriage and family immigration cases for the American Immigration Lawyers Association, Federal Bar Association, and national legal education providers. I represent clients all over the U.S. traveling to immigration interviews and deportation proceedings. Visit our website, humanrightsattorney.com, for more in-depth information and articles on complex family immigration issues.